Yo, what's up guys? John Boogle here. Today, of course, we got Little Dark, a fairly simple stage once you know what to do and bring the right units. So, of course, we're going to first hop into the lineup and then get into the strategy. And here we are with the lineup. As you can probably tell, we have a cat combo on the top. That is, of course, to support our boy Ramen. Ramen is pretty much the main carry in this level. Get like a level 35 ramen with this cat combo and you're pretty much set. Other stallers you can bring is True Form Pogo, though it can be a little bit pricey so I just recommend bringing like Cat Burger and of course True Form Little Wall. Then the two legends we got here is Little Nye and Craze Bahamut. Now Rudin Wolf is really a big cuck for this level since Knocking back units in this level is very very dangerous since it is a lure strategy and Rodan Wolf will screw that over big time so this level can be a bit lengthy depending on how you use your legends and if you use them correctly and if you manage to get them in the right position and time them out and their cycles correctly. Like I said Cat Burger is a replacement for the Staller if you do not have it. I don't expect much people to have the Madoka Staller so Cat Burger works just fine. Don't worry about that. Ramen of course ours is level 36. Level 33 works. Level 35 works. Minimum is like level 33 so that's what I would go with. Camera ours is pretty boosted but it does work at level 30 and if you don't want to boost your camera and you already have a boosted delivery cat that can make up for the lack of levels but you can always do it the other way around and you could boost camera and just bring a level 30 delivery cat so there's options there now you can use them both at level 30 but if you aren't gonna use delivery cat then you absolutely need some more levels on camera since delivery really helps with the peons here cat cannon I do recommend bringing slow beam other cat cannons are very risky cat cannons that knock back the enemies is very risky and i would just bring something like the regular cat cannon or breaker blast just for a dire situation if little dark ends up hitting the base you can use that as an emergency to knock back a little dark and then get in the right position again so that's what I would recommend if you want to use it as an emergency backup knockback. Otherwise, don't use it in the level at all and just run with slow beam. But yeah, if you don't have delivery cat, then you absolutely must have more levels on your camera or your ramen. So keep that in mind. And here we go. As for power ups in this level, if you don't want to have a hard time and struggle greatly in the beginning, then I do recommend bringing a rich cat because spamming ramen with that research combo can get very pricey so having a rich cat in the beginning just solidifies that stalling right from the get-go so of course as you start it off you just want to send out a couple ramens just to stall for a little bit and wait for the first peon to get out now if you couldn't tell already this is a luring strategy so this is how we're gonna handle the level. You want to lure the dark and kill it first before you kill the Sunfish Jones because it is going to be very very difficult fighting within Sunfish Jones's range and getting your units constantly slowed and slowly killed by Sunfish Jones is really not the way to play this level. So you want to lure dark in a position where your legends can stand out of range from Sunfish Jones and also within range of Little Dark and hit Little Dark without getting hit by Sunfish Jones in the process. Now there is a part in this level where Little Dark will get damage knockback and that's inevitable so that's when you want to save your cycles. Yes, once again cycling your legends. Do not send out your legends at the same time. Once you have Bahamut out on the field and Bahamut recharges up again, do not send it out immediately. Wait until you knock back Little Dark with a damage knockback, lure him towards the base again, then that's when you want to send out Bahamut again. As for Little Nye, 
he usually stays out of range from Sunfish Jones, so you don't need to worry too much about cycling him. And of course, the best way to send out Bahamut in the beginning is of course with the Gory Wave, and he will wipe out that Gory Wave in the beginning, so you won't have to worry too much about that. And he'll help lure the Dark a little bit closer to the base without damaging the base. And this whole time, it's really just a patience and endurance level slowly chipping away at little dark with bahamut and little nye now the way you want to use camera and delivery in this level is of course with the peon waves once the gory waves come out that's when you want to spam camera with the ramen as well and of course with the small doges and of course also the gory wave you want to send out delivery every now and then to get that nice hit on the peons they become pretty weak and then camera is able to finish them off very easily so when it's the peon rush with the doges and the gories that's when you want to spam camera with ramen and send out delivery to get that nice fast stall and hit on them now you just want to keep repeating that until you eventually get a damage knockback on manic or little dark almost said manic dark now once that happens it's either you completely stop stalling and let the peons push forward and if you're lucky enough sunfish jones will knock bahamut back in a position where he's safe again and then you won't need to send out another bahamut so it is a very lucky thing if that happens, but if that does not happen and Bahamut dies, that's when you want to send out your other Bahamut, and that's the perfect time to cycle it. Other than that, if your Bahamut stays alive, do not send out another Bahamut with it. You want to cycle your Bahamuts and make sure you save them for when Manic or Little Dark gets knocked back and in the case where Bahamut dies to Sunfish Jones, that's when you have a backup Craze Bahamut ready. Now, Little Dark has three knockbacks and like two million health, so it isn't too long. As long as you keep this pattern and cycle going, three knockbacks and he will be dead, then you can just ramen spam your way to victory. Since ramen is pretty much the big carry in this level. But yeah, other small things I could point out is if you're low on cash, then that's when you result to not using Delivery Cat. You're gonna have to rely on Ramen and Camera survivability to take care of the peons and hope Bahamut doesn't miss his attacks on stuff like the Gories. So there is a little bit of RNG involved here. And if you're in a dire, dire situation, let's say you lure way too much and Little Dark ends up hitting the base, that is only when you should use your cat cannon and if you're using regular cat cannon that is enough to knock back both the little dark and sunfish jones so you can get them off the base and if you're using breaker blast that's even better but if you want to risk it and just use slow beam for the whole level you can do that as well so yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this level and of course once he dies it's just pretty much ramen spam after that not too much strategy there the only strategy is in the beginning and the middle of the level managing your cycles and such but that is all explained in this guide right here and if this guide did help you out go down and drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new join the hashtag google gang i see a lot of you guys starting school as well so Good luck in school. Limited Discord invite will be in the description below. But yeah, that's it guys. It's been John Boogle and see ya.